what is up you guys this is stuffy aka in my humble opinion and welcome back to your favorite reaction friday video in today's video i'm watching season one episode eight it's the season finale of season one of killing eve the episode is entitled god i'm tired which is honestly kind of how i feel after you know filming and editing these so quickly but um let's get into this episode Oh my god, is this his daughter? You are going to die! I'm going to make you start shouting! Food! What? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting, to, though, that this first season started off with seeing Villanelle kind of interact with the child, and the last episode of this season begins with watching Villanelle interact with another child. <laughs> I love these like trees. It's a really picturesque scene they have here. Like the dead trees. Ooh, love this color palette. If this is difficult for you. It's not, I just don't think that- Wait, are you frightened of your own mother? Of course, isn't everyone? <laughs> we need to ask her what the hell she was getting out of my girlfriend. Did she call her her girlfriend? Why did you? Why is he in here? Business. Oh, oh, so he sells hair dryers now, does he? <laughs> she's been released, and now she's kidnapped his daughter. He's come here to ask me for some help. I'll have a little drink. And other what things. Is, what happened to your room? What do you mean? <laughs> I love that. The next time someone asks me why is your room not clean, I'm gonna say, "What do you mean?" Why don't you speak Russian? I don't like it. Where are we going next? To get some money and then to see her dad. She has a lot of questions. Butcher? Yeah. Putin <laughs> Is my dad bad? Yes, he is the worst. I actually like Villanelle when she's with the child. Like, <laughs> I think that the dynamic is really I don't funny. Know, I see an old friend. Oh god, it's Anna. Well, yeah, but her dies though. What? You can't speak Mandarin, can you? Shut up. I'm still learning. <laughs> Kelly, will you book flights for you and Eve? I'll save you some cereal. Ooh, Kenny's defying his mom. I need to find my daughter. She's going to drive that woman crazy. <laughs> Is she really annoying? She's so annoying. Oh, he actually like cares. Their children She's are their amazing. sweet spot. Oh shit, bitch. <laughs> oh god. Hopefully I'll get to her before Villanelle does. Yeah, well, so much for that. <laughs> You either want a job, in which case you do what I say, or you don't want a job, in which case you fend for yourself for once. That if I'll take her. Are you sure you shouldn't? No, that's good. Oh great, she's gonna be by herself with him. Yeah, there's crazy people out there. Quite literally, there's one coming into your apartment right now. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> she must have adopted that from her father, that middle finger. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, Anna, she has some feelings for her still. Oh, she darlinged her, okay. Oh my god, he's gonna see the letter. Come 
God, how is he gonna track that down? Like, random soldier. I think the best six we ever had was on that chair. Whoa! Oh. Whoa, what would the God say? I don't understand. What would he say about doing it in front of her? I don't mind. Shut up. <laughs> when your coat came, I prayed to God that you would come. Did you two used to go out? She's just. Oh. You love each other. I don't love her anymore. She loves someone else. Oh wow, she really fucking did that in front of the child. Get me her phone. Oh my god. Loki, this like music though is like a vibe. <laughs> like a da 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 da. If I told you, I would really have to kill you, you know? <laughs> I like how these like operative, high positioning spies, this is how they communicate. They just like laugh really loud. Are you insane? We just need to give her what she wants. Me. No, me. Wow, Villanelle must have this, like, power over people. They both kind of, I feel like, get a kick out of being the object of affection, for different reasons, obviously, of Villanelle. You know Villanelle! Admit it! Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Why do you have a gun in your car? Because I'm traveling to save my little daughter from a psychopath. Villanelle. Who is also a psychopath. Don't turn around. I don't I don't want to see it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Tell me the truth or I'll shoot you in the leg. <laughs> in the oh, leg. Jesus. Anna. Hello. Where is my passport? Ooh, macarons. You don't have my passport. Yes, I do. Hey! Your photo is hilarious. Stop it, I was young then! <laughs> <laughs> I've got your passport and your cash. Just let Elena go and I'll give them to you. Throw it. I will if you... No, Whoa, no. okay, okay, whoa. <laughs> Throw it! Throw it. Oh, girl. <laughs> Excuse me? Could you pass that along, please? Thank you so much. <laughs> That's such a funny quirk <laughs> that Phoebe wrote. <laughs> She's a bad thrower. <laughs> the aim. <laughs> but I have to do my job and you understand that. No, no, no. no. Sana, no. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. In front of the child. God, there's a lot of violence that happens in front of the child. <laughs> Come with me. Just you and me. Please. Oh, and she runs! Oh my god, I hope Constantine survives this, because that's traumatic for the child. Constantine. I'm afraid so. There goes that lead. Are you fucking kidding me? You ordered cheese puff. Did you bring them with you? Always. Are oh, they the normal flavor? Well, there's only one cheese puff flavor. Oh, okay. <laughs> These mundane conversations. Other residents of the building, just because you're all in Russia and I have nothing to do, one of the apartments is paid for by the same account that paid Frank. I've sent you the address. Let me know when you want to go. Please take me with you. I'm dying here. I feel like that actress who was playing that girl must have been working on The Good Place when they were filming all of this. Looks like I'm going to have to finish this on my own. You can both pack up the London office. Oh! Damn, she fucking fired her son. Oh, Kenny. London? Oh, she's not gonna get London. on the plane. No. Paris. What did he look like? Um, Greer, beard. Constantine. A bit like uh, an horse. An, an horse? An horse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, would you like a key? 
Wow, this old lady all this time could have come in clutch. Oh my god, please do not sniff. Don't sniff those. Oh my god, what the literal fuck? God, this is scary. Wow. Has Eve lost it? Oh my god, I'm like so scared that she's there. Oh my god, is that her fucking scarf? Oh god. <laughs> this is very like Angela Bassett fucking things up and waiting to exhale. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now it's not so fun anymore, is it, Sandra O? Oh. oh my god, she's- this is it. Here we go. Well, clearly we know that there's a season two and three with Sandra O. Oh, so, I don't know how she's gonna get out of this, but... Did you have a party or something? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. Sit down. <laughs> Let's have a heart-to-heart. -heart. I think about you all the time. I think about what you're wearing. And what you're doing and who you're doing it with. I think about what friends you have. Your eyes and your mouth and what you feel when you kill someone. I think about what you have for breakfast. I just... Wow, the obsession is reason. real. The obsession is real. I think about it. I mean, I masturbate about you a lot. <laughs> too much? No, that's just... I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what do you want? Honestly, don't be a dick. Normal stuff. Nice life. Cool flat. Fun job. Someone to watch movies with. Ugh, oh, see, I can't take her seriously because she's a fucking psychopath. As much as I want to believe her, I can't. Uh oh. You found me. <laughs> yes. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you gonna kill me? Wow. So many people have asked her that throughout the duration of this season, and she quite literally does kill them, so... Would you stay for a bit? Sure. Well, she's like, bitch, I came all this way. I mean, I rerouted my original plan, so... I've never done anything like this before. It's okay. Huh. <laughs> Call back to that one I random lady that, that left her tour guide. Or left her tour group. <gasps> I can't. I can't. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wow, um... Oh, girl! Oh, shit. Okay, well, we know we get a season three. This is so crazy how this unraveled. Like, they were just laying in bed. <laughs> god. Oh my god, where is she? Did she fucking crawl her way out of the apartment? She has gone. Where? Alright, and some post-show thoughts. Wow, what a way to end the first season. Gosh, I, I felt like 
this entire season was ultimately building up to that moment when even though we have seen Eve and Villanelle interact before and confront each other but there was just such like a raw honesty in that scene when they were in Villanelle's apartment that just felt so different from the previous interactions and I think it's because of the journey that they've been on like this cat and mouse game and they've both really gone through it throughout this entire chase like Eve said you know she's lost a best friend her marriage is falling apart she lost two jobs and even with like Villanelle too like she witnessed her former lover like committing suicide her boss betrayed her she went to jail and that whole fiasco thing happened over there like they've both been through it so the fact that both of them were kind of at a even emotional playing field is what made that scene and the dynamic of that scene really really interesting to watch i will say that whole sequence at the end with Villanelle kind of saying, okay, I'm not gonna kill you, and she puts the gun away, and then they like turn and you think it's gonna be the sweet moment, but then instead, Eve is really like unhinged at this point, and she quite literally like stabs Villanelle in the gut. And I felt like that was such a great callback to that midpoint, one of the midpoint episodes of the season when Villanelle threatened to do that. And she said, I'm gonna do it. And if I do it, I'm gonna do it slowly and it's gonna hurt more. So it was interesting to kind of see that role reversal here. And it just like really escalated. I think Phoebe Waller-Bridge as a writer does a great job with escalating these moments to a place where it's like, wow, I didn't even think the situation could escalate to this level. Like I thought that moment where Eve runs out after she's pulled the knife out of Villanelle and you know, there's blood pouring out of her and she's like running to the kitchen trying to find something. And then Villanelle like finds the gun and she starts shooting at Eve like it escalates to this like crazy level like you're just like wow things are unhinged so that was really really exciting to see I will say I'm a bit nervous going into season two now because I've heard that season two is not as good as season one. I'm gonna be honest, that's what I've heard. Season two is not as good as season one. I don't know if it's because Phoebe Waller-Bridge she's not writing season two so I'm a little bit nervous about that. But before we move on to season two, I must say I really, really enjoyed the season. I thought Phoebe Waller-Bridge, like what she was able to do with Killing Eve, it shows the great brain she has as a writer. And like the thing is too, for those of you guys who don't know, the reason why I wanted to watch Killing Eve was because I had just watched Fleabag. And it's interesting, despite the fact that like Fleabag and Killing Eve are such two different shows, there's still a lot of like Phoebe Waller-Bridge isms in Killing Eve, despite the genre differences. And I will say, too i felt like this episode like in particular really really felt like phoebe waller bridge because like even though there were like really dark serious moments and like moments of high tension there were also really really funny moments as well and kind of like making funny moments out of like the most mundane conversations i feel like phoebe's really good at that so yeah i'm gonna miss oh i'm gonna miss phoebe even though she's like not in the show i'm gonna like miss miss that presence in the show but i'm so excited for season two yeah <laughs> And all right, my question for you guys is, I wanna know from season one, what was your favorite episode? It's like a three-way tie between this episode, which was really, really great. I think it was pretty much like a back-to-back -back episode. It might've been four, five, or five and six when Villanelle was forced to work with Nadia and the guy that kept calling her pumpkin and then like them trying to hunt down Frank and Frank was running in the field and Eve was like, ah, oh, hurry, hurry. Like I thought that episode was really really great and then I also enjoyed the follow-up episode after that one where Eve and Villanelle have that first real confrontation at Eve's house which again now that I'm thinking about it that's a really it's interesting that we got a confrontation where Villanelle went to Eve's house and then we end the season with Eve going to Villanelle's apartment and having a, a confrontation there like really really nice full circle moments that they were able to create. So yeah, let me know what were some of your favorite episodes of the season. And all right, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on a notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on this episode. I'm gonna try and have season two, episode one out tomorrow. I'm currently like right now editing a podcast episode that's supposed to come out this Wednesday. So I might not be able to come out with 
the Killing Eve season two videos right away. I will be filming them, but I'm afraid to start posting them and then they're not coming out like one right after the other. So just make sure your notifications are turned on. That's the best thing I could say as of right now. I will try and upload it tomorrow, but if it doesn't come out, I'm really sorry. It just, just doesn't come out. So just make sure that notification bell is turned on so you know when it starts to upload. I will say once I start to upload it, it's gonna be like one right after the other, like one per day, like we did for season one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Since I brought up the podcast, I will say if you don't know, I host a podcast called Diva Dailies. It's a podcast where I deconstruct divas on film and TV. This Wednesday, we're actually talking about Purple Rain and Prince. So if you think that's like a conversation you'd be interested in listening to, check us out. We're Diva Dailies. You can find us wherever you listen to podcasts. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been very, very fun. I will see you guys in season two. As always, everything I said was just my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.